So here we need to, to assign a value for k so that this function f is continuous at x equals 0. You'll notice that at x equals 0, this is undefined. In fact, they've excluded that value because if you plug in x equals 0, it's undefined. So we need to look at the limit of this function as x approaches 0. And for this to be continuous, uh, whatever this limit is, that value we set to k, then the function will be continuous because f of 0 is k, and if that is equal to this limit, then it would be continuous. So we essentially need to find this limit. Um, you'll notice that this is a 0 over 0 form, so you can use the L'Hopital's rule, which is differentiate the top and bottom functions. So uh, differential of that would be 1, and the denominator is 0, minus half, and this would go in the denominator, and then the derivative of 4 plus x is 1. And then we're going to evaluate this as x equal to 0. So that becomes uh, minus 2 times square root of 4 plus x. As x goes to 0, you'll see this becomes minus 2 times square root of 4, which is 2. So the limit of this function is minus 4. So if we set k to equal to minus 4, then this will be a continuous function at x equal to 0. Another approach you could take is to take a really small value of x and plug it in here. You'll see that that comes very close to minus 4. Uh, you can also do it that way. Um, so to recap, the answer is um, k needs to be equal to minus 4.